Peter Moss. I am CEO of the Reference Data Utility, uh, which is a collaboration between SmartStream um, and led by three banks, uh, so JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and Goldman Sachs. And uh, um, great names um, to, uh, to actually support uh, a great concept, I think. Uh, so we're, I think, actually um, more focused on the, the move, the shift towards um, utilities, actually. Um, so we're, we're finding that increasingly um, people want to get cost out of their businesses and, and actually they're finding that they're doing a lot of duplicative things across those businesses. So um, utilities are a great way of actually taking out very duplicated costs across many, many companies. And, and, uh, and so for us, actually, that's been a, a lot of the prime focus, both in my particular business area, but also more broadly across SmartStream as well. So as you, I'm sure, are very well aware, the, um, the financial industry has done a lot to try and automate um, both trade, um, trade processing in the front office and the back office. Uh, and they've done a good job, actually, to be honest, but they've now um, discovered that when you've done that automation, it's absolutely critical that you have good reference data, because if you don't have reference data that is accurate, the automation breaks. So um, getting that reference data right is the critical thing. What a lot of the banks have actually done is they've um, they built up internal teams um, to manage the data so that the data is as good a quality as they can possibly get it. And that's where we're seeing so much duplication because they all now have data management teams. And, um, and so moving to a utility model, again, actually just allows you to do it once. Inherit best practice from the, uh, the, the organizations that do it really well, that do it once across the industry. Um, we are creating, I think, uh, a, a, a data set which is actually second to none. Um, not on our own, we actually um, use data that is available in the market from data vendors, from exchanges and so on. And what we do is then actually um, make it consistent, um, fill any gaps, uh, make sure that it arrives in a timely fashion and that allows the automation to, to, to happen and flow uh, without trade breaks, which are, as we, as we know, very expensive. With, with something like a utility, you're selling on the back of credibility, right? And, 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 and so it's, in, it's very important that you can demonstrate that you are doing a job that actually is going to be valuable and helpful um, and, and is not going to create risk. Um, and by demonstrating that we actually can do that for three massive organizations, um, makes uh, other customers, I think, much more comfortable, and, that, and that's the key. Actually, the regulation is driving a lot of the demand for this reference data, right? So it's not just trade breaks. And then the trading um, clearly has driven a lot of the history, but, but actually now, um, customers are starting to get much more sensitive on getting accurate regulatory reports um, that are right all the time. And, and all is a very difficult thing to achieve, right? But, but increasingly, the regulators are becoming sort of zero tolerant, right? Um, and um, so, um, so getting as good a quality of data as possible allows you to feel more confident that you are actually reporting accurately and you avoid sort of storing up historic issues that you're going to have to deal with at some point downstream with the regulator.